Let's try another quadratic function problem, number three. The quadratic function, here y equals ax minus b squared plus c, passes through the points negative three comma zero and five comma zero. Its maximum y value is 50. Find the values of a, b, and c. Quadratic functions are either sad faces or happy faces. The fact that we have a maximum value we immediately know that it must be a sad face because if it was a happy face, the maximum y value would go on towards infinity. So this here, the a value is gonna be negative. When given points and an equation, it's good to plug them in. We have an x value here, y value, x and a y here. So let's plug this in here, the three, negative three and zero into here. So we have y equals ax minus b squared plus c. The, x, the y value here is zero. The x value here is negative three, b squared plus c. So now let's plug in the second point. The y value here is zero. And the x value here is five. And you can see that these two points are on the quadratic. However, the y values are the same. So when the y values are the same, y is zero, and for the second equation here we have zero as well, we can equate these parts. This is zero, this is zero, so we can make them equal to each other. So we're gonna say that a, this first part, is equals to the second part here. We have c's on both sides of the equation, so we can just cancel them out. We have both sides have a, so we can divide both sides by a and cancel these out. And what we're left with is a binomial is equals to a binomial, and we can just expand this out using FOIL. Negative three times negative three is nine. Negative three times negative b is 3b times 2 is plus 6b. Negative b times negative b is positive b squared. So just expand out this binomial. As you can see, we only have one variable and equation. You just simply use some algebra to solve for b. We have b squared on both sides, so we're going to cancel out the b's, the b squares. Going to move this negative 10b to the left, becomes a positive 10b. So positive 10b plus 6b becomes 16b is equals to 25 minus 9. This 9 went over, so it changes signs. So what we have here is 16b is equals to 16. Divide both sides by 16 we get b is equal to 1. If you think about this information that's given, the maximum y value is 50. Notice how this equation is in the vertex form. This c value is 50. This 50 is the c value. Remember that the c value is the y coordinate of the vertex. So this here is going to be some x value comma 50, and this happens to be the c value. So we can see that c is equals to 50. Now that we have b and c, we can plug into any equation to solve for a. So we'll just use this equation over here. We have zero equals a, negative three, negative b, b happens to be one, squared plus c, which happens to be 50 going to look at this equation here, move the 50 over so it becomes negative 50. And what we have here on the right hand side is negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. So we have 16a. So a is equals to negative 50 over 16. So a is equals to negative 25 over 8.